Transportation by means of dog power has been used for over a thousand years. Northern Indigenous peoples developed dog sledding and since then, explorers have adopted it as an effective way to cross snow-covered terrain. But these days, the average outfitter providing these services promote it as a recreational activity rather than a practical way to get from A to B. To do it right, you need to find a tour operator who runs an ethical business and follows the Sled Dog Code of Care by the Canadian Coalition for Sled Dogs or the guidelines for animal welfare by the World Sled Dog Association. An operator's top priority should be to preserve and promote the physical and psychological health for the dogs and to provide an environment free of abuse and violence. Tour companies will promote this on their website and it can be confirmed by individual reviews online. When you're comfortable with a service provider and you officially book your tour, it's time to prepare your gear. You'll be outside for a few hours, so you need to have layers to help keep you warm and allow for mobility. Your upper and lower body should be covered with base, mid, and insulated outer layers. It's much better if the outer layers, like your jacket and snow pants, are wind and waterproof. You should wear a thick toque or a hat that covers your earlobes, goggles, or sunglasses for your eyes, and a mask or neck warmer to protect your face. Wear the best winter mittens or gloves that you have. Your feet should be protected with wool or synthetic wool socks and covered by an insulated winter boot that supports the ankle. Days before the adventure, look at the anticipated weather and bring more warmth if needed. When you arrive for your excursion, your tour operator may ask you to fill out some waiver forms or inspect your attire to ensure that it's appropriate for the activity. They will give you an orientation with the various instructions on how to interact with the animals, use the equipment, and proper riding techniques. For animal lovers, this is the exciting portion as you get to meet the dogs before the trip actually begins. Typically, the two common breeds of sled dogs are Huskies and Malmutes. These types are chosen for their strength, speed, endurance, and their ability to withstand the cold. Their beauty is simply a bonus. In Canada, dogs are harnessed and attached to a gang line so they run side by side in pairs. These dogs pull a sled, which typically accommodates a driver and up to two passengers. Companies who care for the animal's welfare will balance the weight of the passengers to the amount of dogs on the line. You can participate in the activity by having a guide manage your sled, or you can drive it yourself. We suggest the self-drive option as it's a thrilling experience on its own. When it's time to take off into the frozen wilderness, passengers jump into the sled and bundle up in a blanket while the driver takes a position at the rear and manages the team of dogs. The driver steps onto the footboards, holds onto the handlebars and yells, hike, mush, or really whatever command the guide specifies. The dogs dig deep and bolt forward as they race through the powder and follow the guidance of the lead hound. Tour guides will travel ahead of the group to direct you through the incredible snowy scenery. The dogs are so excited to run along the trail that the driver will have to manage the speed of the team by stepping down on the claw brake or drag pad if they get too close to the team ahead or approach a downward slope. It is easy to get lost in your surroundings or in the enjoyment of the activity. But remember to stay focused when you are driving the sled for everyone's safety, including your dogs. Depending on the company, you may be requested to assist your furry friends on steep inclines. To keep momentum, you could be asked to hold the handlebar, step off the footboards and run behind the sled, or to shift to a side and pedal or push with one foot. This is so that the driver minimizes the weight and stress on the animals while working with them to ascend a hill. The feeling of being pulled behind a team of dogs traveling across a snow-covered landscape is one that you will never forget. The winding trails and the beautiful views will make any trip an unforgettable journey. Just make sure that at the end of the journey, you give your canine friends some love and attention for all of their hard work. We hope that we have shared some insight to what you can expect on your future dog sledding adventure. Each tour operator will have different protocols and requirements for your trip. Be sure to do all the research possible before you book your excursion. So that way you can ensure that you are enjoying the sport responsibly. 
We are the artistry of adventure, and we want to spark your creativity to help you experience adventure. Stay connected. Hit the like button, and subscribe to our channel for more great advice and inspiration. I got there, face the elements!